economic growth could have slackened in the first two quarters of 2019 compared to 2018, but still indicate strong economic prospects. <coughs> Indeed, economic growth in financial year 2019-2020 is projected at between 6 and 6.3 percent, um, supported by the accommodative monetary policy stance that has resulted in a stronger growth in the private sector credit. Shocks from the shrinking global economy, changes in weather, among others, could have undermined this envisaged growth. The health of the global economy could end up spilling into the domestic economy simply because we have trade imbalance which would depend on the financing from the rest of the, of the world. So it is, the, it is a, a, a bit of a question mark. But the central bank downplayed any election cycle spillovers onto the economy. Do we believe that the budget framework paper, which is a public information now, contains the expenditures that are reflective of the election cycle? The answer is yes. And therefore, information set is already part and parcel of the forecast we are using. So given that information set, we don't believe that we are likely to see um, any disruption coming from the election cycle. I think it's a good idea that NSF should lend to the government because at least that means the gov government will, will not resort to commercial banks to borrow is a good idea. Bank of Uganda has kept the central bank rate at 10% for the fourth time in a row as core inflation stays at just 3% and not expected to increase significantly soon.